Hello and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will be taking a question that has been asked in chemical engineering thermodynamics one paper of Mumbai University. This question has come on December 17 and the question is question 3b. The question is on your screen. Estimate the enthalpy and entropy of departure, it should be off departure, of N hexane at 600 Kelvin and 800 kilopascal using Van der Waals equation of state. The critical temperatures and the critical pressures are given to you and the formulas given here should suffice. You need not mark up the formulas for residual enthalpy and residual entropy for Van der Waals equation of state. If you know these forms, you can practically very much solve the problem for any cubic equation of state and I'll demonstrate how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to fix up what is the standard state. Okay, this is very important. The teacher who is correcting or the person who is correcting should know what is the standard state. And the usual standard state taken is 1 bar or 100 kilopascals, right? So this is the standard state. Now at this standard state, you calculate the lower limits of the integral. Now the volume at this condition is going to be equal to 8.314 into 600. That is the temperature of the gas divided by 100 kilopascals. Now that's going to be equal to 8.314 into 600 divided by 100. That's 49.884. That's 49.884 meter cube per k mole. Right? So we have the lower limit. We should call this as V1. We should mark this as V1. Right, so V infinity is basically V is equal to at infinity is V1. Right, now the only thing we need to know is tau P by tau T, Z, and the volume at 800 kilopascal and 600 Kelvin. Now, the volume at 800 kilopascal and 600 Kelvin is calculated using the Van der Waals equation of state. Right. So we write it down. The Van der Waals equation of state in its cubic form is PVQ minus PP plus RT plus AV minus AB is equal to 0. Now we have to calculate A and B for the Van der Waals equation. So the A is going to be 27 by 64 into 8.314 into 507.4 the whole square by 2969. So we have A equal to 27 multiplied by 8.314 into 507.4 the whole square divided by 64 into 2969 and that is 2528.6839 2528.6839 this is going to be kilopascals meter raised to 6 by k mole the whole square or k mole square. Now we need the value of B that's 1 8 8.314 into 5 naught 7.4 divided by 2969. So that's going to be equal to 
So let's do it. 8.314 into phi naught 7.4 divided by 8 divided by 2969. And that's 0.1776. Let's do the calculation once again. 8.314 into phi naught 7.4 divided by 8 into 2969. And that's 0.1776. So that's 0 0.1776. Seven six. Now let's write the cubic equation of state. So therefore, the cubic equation of state is going to be: we have eight hundred kilopascals as the pressure. So V Q minus P that is zero point one seven seven six into eight hundred kilopascals plus eight point three. 1, 4 into temperature is 600 Kelvin. V square. So there's a V square here. V square plus A. That's 2528.6839 into V minus AB. That is 2528.68. 39 into 0.1776. So let's write the final form of the equation. So that's going to be 800 V cube minus, let's calculate, 0.1776 into 100. 800, that's not 100, that's 800, 800 plus 8.314 into 600. That's equal to 5130.48. 5130.48. We can take it to four decimal places. Well, two decimal places. Are there so we'll have to take it with that and then afterwards we have minus 2528.6839 that's a plus plus v this is v cube so I'll write it in a proper way so that's going to be Minus five thousand one hundred and thirty point two eight four eight. Okay, so let's do the calculation once again. So point one seven seven six into eight hundred plus eight point three one four into six hundred. So that's 5130.48. Yes, that was right. So that's V square plus 2528.6839V minus AB. So we calculate A into B, and that's 2528.6839. Three nine into point one seven seven six, and that's four forty nine point zero nine four three four forty nine point zero nine four three. So that's four forty nine point zero nine four three is equal to zero. Now we solve this cubic equation to get the volume. So that's mode 5 and the cubic equation of state. So let's take 4. So that's going to be 800. The second constant is minus 5130.48. 
the third constant is 2528.6839 and the fourth constant is minus 449.0943 is equal to and we get the volume as 5.8928 so we get the real volume as so that's v2 we write that as we note it as v2 so v2 the real volume is 5.8929 meter cube per k mole right so we pretty much have the value of a b and v2 now we need to calculate z so z is going to be 800 kilopascals into 5.8929 divided by 8.314 into 600 kelvin which is the temperature so let's calculate z now so z is going to be equal to mode 1 and that's it 800 into 5.8929 divided by 8.314 into 600. So that's equal to 0 0.9450. So that's equal to 0 0.9450. So we pretty much have the value of Z. Z is equal to 0 0.9450. Right? Now we should set about getting our answers, which is the most important thing. Before that last bit of exercise that we need to do, that is we need to calculate the tau P by tau T at constant volume V for the Van der Waals equation of state, which is going to be the Van der Waals equation of state is P is equal to RT upon V minus V minus A by V squared. So when we differentiate it at constant volume, we are going to get R upon V minus V. So the residual entropy equation is going to be RT. We already know R. We already know T. Z minus 1 plus integral of T into tau P by tau T at constant volume V. That's R upon V minus V minus P. So that's RT upon V minus B. We replace P with this equation plus A by V square. So this and this gets cancelled off and we are left with this. So we are left with delta H R is equal to RT Z minus 1 plus integral a by v square and the lower limit is going to be v1 and our v1 is 49.884 49.884 and our upper limit is 5.8929 so our upper limit is 5.8929 and we replace a by v square with the value of a so we get this as 2528.6839 divided by v square right so let's put on the values here so that's delta hr delta h r is equal to 8.314 into 600 into 0 
फाइव जीरो माइनस वन सो वी गेट डेल्टा एच आर एस लेट्स गो टू द कैलकुलेटर एंड सॉल्व इथ नाउ दिस इज वेर इट गेट्स एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज इट्स वेटी सिंपल टू सॉल्व इट आउट एंड विदाउट यू इविन रिमेम्बरिंग द फॉर्मूला यू आर एबल टू गेट अ सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट स्टार्ट सो एट पॉइंट थ्री वन फोर इंटू सिक्स हंड्रेड into start the bracket point nine four five zero minus one close the bracket plus start the integral and we have two thousand five hundred and twenty eight point six eight three nine divided by alpha x x square and now we fix the lower limit the lower limit is 49.884 and the upper limit is 5.8929 press equal to and there we have the answer that's minus 652.8 75 or 7776 7776 kilo joules per k mole wasn't that easy to do well i recommend that all of you if you have this calculator that is of course i am not an affiliate marketing man of this calculator but i would recommend most of the students to purchase fx991 es because this solves a integral and i find it very natural in using it now let's go to the calculation of delta s r we pretty much have all the values for it that's r ln of z plus so let's look at the formula that's r ln of z plus integral of 49.884 and the upper limit is going to be 5.8929 and dou p by dou t is going to be r upon v minus b minus r by v dv so we can write this as delta s r is equal to 8 Point three one four into ln of z. So the value of z is point nine four five zero. So zero point nine four five zero. And then what we can do is we can take r common that is eight point three one four and leave take the integral inside and one upon v minus b. So what's the value of b? The value of b was point. One seven seven six, so point zero point one seven seven six minus one over v dv, and the lower limit is forty nine point eight eight four, and the upper limit is five point eight nine two nine. Now let's use our calculator and solve it. So let's write it down. Delta S R. Is equal to. That's it. Eight point three one four into ln of point nine four five zero. That's it. Plus eight point three one four into start the integral. So in the integral we are going to have a bracket, and in the bracket we are going to write it down as. One over alpha x minus point one seven seven six minus one over alpha x, and then now we need to fix the limits. So the lower limit is forty nine point. Eight 
eight four, and the upper limit is five point eight nine two nine. Ready, study, and go. So we have a value, and that's minus zero point six nine five one. 5 1 kilo joule per k mole kelvin so that's the answer for the residual entropy these values are right and if you use the rigorous formula still you will get the same values but remember one thing in rigorous formulas we take an state where the volume is practically infinity now now that's not a very realizable state so mostly while calculating the tables you have to pick a state and then start and that is the correct method this is the correct approach of doing it there the state was taken while deriving the formula the states are taken as v tending to infinity only to simplify the expression but the simplified expression cannot be used for calculation this is the right way of doing the calculations so fine guys you must have found this very interesting keep sharing my videos more important than not anything subscribe my videos spread these videos to all the students spread it out to all the students and all the faculty members Take the maximum advantage of all these videos, but do subscribe. I need subscribers to continue this work. This is very important to me. Fine, guys. Have a great time. Goodbye.